Hi, welcome to 3 inches hand embroidery. I'm Eric. In this video, we will talk about the 3 most common outline stitches that you will use in hand embroidery. Please click the subscribe button and bell if you haven't done it yet. There will be more hand embroidery videos coming up soon. We will start with the same stage. I'll fast forward the floss anchoring parts. If you want to learn how to do it, you can refer to the link in the description. After you anchor the floss, bring the needle up from the back on the starting point and make your first stitch. You will see this loop after the needle goes down through the fabric. And once you bring up the needle, you can either send it to the left side or right side of the loop. And now we'll do the left side first. Bring your needle up in the middle of the stitch and send it to the left side of the loop. So this is what you do on the first stitch. And start from the second stitch, send the needle down half stitch away from the last stitch and bring your needle up at the end of the last stitch. After that, keep repeating the same steps on the following stitches. So keep in mind that you can pick either side, but once you pick a side, you have to stick to the side until you finish the whole outline. You can switch the side randomly. If you do it randomly, the stitches will be messy. I'll show you later. And now we go with the right side. So anchor the floss before you start stitching. Here's the loop. Send the needle to the right side. All the steps are the same. The only different thing is the side that you send your needle to. It doesn't matter that which side you do it, the outcomes are same. This is how it looks like if you send your needle to a random side when you're doing your stem stitch. These are the samples of the stem stitch. I usually use it on the stem of the plants. And this is the stem stitch from 1 strand to 6 strands. The following outline stitch is back stitch. So we anchor the floss first before we start. Bring the needle up from the back and make the first stitch. You can either go backward or forward on the first stitch. It doesn't matter. Bring the needle up a stitch away and send it to the end of the last stitch. Keep repeating the same steps until you finish the outline. Well, try to make the length of the stitches as even as you can. This is a sample of the backstage in one strand. And this is a back stitch from one strand to six strands. The last one, split stitch. So the same start here. We anchor the floss first. Bring the needle up from the back and make the first stitch. After that, bring the needle up a stitch away and split the last stitch. 
I normally send the needle down near the end of the stitches instead of in the middle of the stitches. By doing this, your stitches will look smoother if you are doing a curved outline with split stitch. Okay, I'll show you how to do the split stitch with one strand. It's the same thing, but it's just kind of challenging to do the split stitch on single strand because you need a good eye for it. The only tip that I can give you is bring the hoop closer to your eyes and do it in a brighter place so you can see it clearer. This is the sample of the split stitch in one strand. And this is a split stitch from one strand to six strands. Alright, so we have mentioned stem stitch, back stitch, and split stitch. I put them together here so you can try to figure out which one is the best for your project. If you found this video useful, you can give me a thumbs up by clicking the like button, and you're always welcome to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.